Hey, Digital Tour Bus. We got five touring tips that I'm gonna walk you through here. But I must say that it's very important that we have an ambient candle while we do this because uh, it just really wouldn't be as, ex as exciting if we didn't have this. So one, make sure that you think about the fact that you're always gonna be detached from convenient food. So therefore, if you're somebody that's health conscious and you wanna think about the things that you eat, you should make sure that you always have your bus stocked with healthy items that you, things that you would generally prepare at home and you're not forced to, to do the fast food thing because there's fast food everywhere and it really just kind of wears down on you and zaps your energy. I, I would say tip one is that. Tip two, always make sure that you, before you leave your house, you have thought about every single item that you might possibly need for touring. That means duplicates of your favorite clothing and I will say hygiene becomes really hard to maintain when you're on the road so if you if you always have enough shirts both on your bus both in your hotel room and generally in another compartment that might be either a wardrobe case or a Tupperware thing or something um, where you keep your equipment so that you if you end up in a place where you're soaked with sweat or you end up in a place where you need to do an interview or you need to do something that was unexpected that you always have clothes in each place that you might be. The third tip that I would I would suggest is knowing that at this point you're a creative person or you wouldn't be on tour. So if you're on tour, make sure that you have either a guitar, or make sure that you got some sort of medium that you can capture ideas, creative ideas, because I think we all get inspired when we're on the road and we're traveling. So making sure that you can fill your time constructively I think it's good to have rituals. You know, night after night, you're generally probably playing, you know, a similar set of music. In accordance with that, it's nice to have a ritual, whether it be a little bit of exercise, something to kind of get the cardiovascular system going, or something creatively that keeps you inspired and, and focused to perform and realize that there's people that have paid good money to come see you, and part of that comes the responsibility of, of making sure you're prepared and making sure that you've got everything sort of laid out for you to, to give 100% to you know these fans and the people that give you the you know the ability to have things like this. Tip five: a couple of drinks before the show. I, I endorse that. I think it removes some inhibitions. It helps you be in the right facet, a better performer. But don't have more than two or three drinks before the show because no one likes a drunk musician up on stage.